Hello, my name is Dan Vega, and I have been a developer for 20 years now. I live right outside of Cleveland. I'm a husband, a father of two daughters, and I just really love to take what I've learned and teach that to others. So throughout my career, I, I think I've kind of noticed it, but uh, I used to, or I still do blog, uh, but I really got into the point where I would learn something new and I would blog about it. And this really like reinforced the concept for me. And this has really turned into a passion of mine throughout my career. So I was blogging, I started doing YouTube videos, I started creating courses. And this led me down a path to really uh, get to a point where I enjoy uh, teaching others. And I ended up taking a position as a curriculum developer at Tech Elevator, which is a coding boot camp. And so now what I do is I get to work on a curriculum that helps our instructors and teaches students uh, a wide variety of technologies. So. so I've been using IntelliJ IDEA for probably the last nine to 10 years. So I started using IntelliJ IDEA because the IDE that I was using began to get very slow and bloated and not really offer the features that I wanted. And so I started looking around at other IDEs and there were a few, especially in the, the Java space. And I heard some really great things about IntelliJ IDEA and the features. And really, I think the first couple times that uh, I started to use it, it was very intuitive for me. It was not something I had to figure out how to use. It just kind of worked for me right away. And I think ever since then, uh, I've just, you know, I, I've really loved the, the IDE. And I actually pay for a professional license for myself uh, just because I find it as an invaluable tool for, for my day-to-day -day work. So one of the features that I use right when I open up uh, IntelliJ IDEA is the new project wizard. I absolutely love being able to go through and create a new project and, and really get that intuitive step-by-step -step wizard on what I'm creating. So whether it's a Spring Boot application or a Maven application or anything, or a job application, whatever I'm doing, I really like the new project wizard because it guides me into what my project is going to be. Before this, um, it was very, it wasn't as easy to create a new project. And, and with the new project wizard, uh, it just makes everything really easy. I think what I mo like most about IntelliJ IDEA is it just works as advertised. I mean, it is an IDE and it's supposed to make you productive and it does, and it doesn't get in my way. There are a lot of tools, maybe not even in just writing code that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that I don't enjoy opening because I know that like I need this tool, but it's going to get in my way or slow me down. IntelliJ IDEA does not do that. And it really just frees me up to not worry about my tool and just worry about the task at hand. So the feature I can't live without is the generate option. So I write a lot of Java code and Java has known to be a little bit verbose before Java 15 and, and the sport with records, but I write a, I write a lot of uh, data classes. And so generating getters and setters, constructors, generating a test uh, from a class, generating all of the methods that you need to implement from an interface, these things are invaluable to me. And I still remember when I didn't know what I was doing as a young programmer, I would literally write all of these functions out. And I wish I could go back and tell my younger self to just use the IDE and generate that code for you. <laughs> So a feature that I don't use every day, but is definitely an important one, is the database tools in IntelliJ. So I don't do a lot of work with databases right now, but when I do, I really like the ability to uh, go ahead and connect to a database, run a simple query. Uh, you can create all kinds of diagrams. I think the database tools in IntelliJ are really great, and it's something I wish I was able to use more. Uh, but it's just another one of those things where you don't have to leave the IDE to do something. 
And again, I think as a programmer, that just makes you a little bit more uh, efficient and productive when, when you don't have to reach for another tool, or even start up another tool to uh, accomplish a task. So the feature that I use the most in IntelliJ IDEA is the Spring support. So I am a big Spring framework, Spring Boot fan. I use it uh, often. I teach it a lot, and I just love the support for Spring that is integrated into the ID, starting with creating a new project, being able to use the um, Spring uh, start that Spring.io integration right in the ID is really great because now I get that seamless workflow where from start to finish, where I can go ahead and create my application, pick all my dependencies. It creates a project for me. Now I open up my main application class and I can just hit this nice little button and everything runs for me. Um, as, as far as that goes, there's a lot of other really great uh, Spring integrations that I like, um, uh, features that I like that come with Spring, such as being able to um, introspect a bean. So if you declare an instance variable that is a bean, uh, you can go ahead and just click on it. It'll show you in the gutter that, hey, this is a Spring bean that's going to get injected for you. Having support in your uh, application.properties for configuration settings. And just, again, all of the great features that come with uh, the Spring support in IntelliJ. So IntelliJ has really helped me become a happier and more productive developer and teacher. So we introduced IntelliJ IDEA into the curriculum at Tech Elevator, the coding bootcamp where I work. And I also use it in the courses that I teach. And what I found is that it's just really great for teaching uh, new uh, developers to the Java language. So a lot of the times when you're typing out code, you may not realize it, but there is a better way to write something. Now, I often teach people, hey, you, you want to get something to work first. Uh, make sure that you can perform the task that you're required to. But then when you get it to work, kind of step back and take a look at your code and ask yourself, is there a better way that I could write this? And IntelliJ really jumps in there and, and provides some assistance. So sometimes you'll see a, a little yellow light bulb pop up and it'll say, hey, uh, did you know that you don't you may not need to uh, write a for loop here? Maybe you can use the streams API to filter over some collection. And those types of little hints really help because they teach someone uh, ways of, of other ways of, of performing a particular task. And I think as a developer, you start to see those over and over again in the IDE, and it really just helps you learn. So I love it as a tool, uh, not only being productive for me as a developer, but as a teacher as well. So I just want to say uh, happy birthday to IntelliJ IDEA and thank you to all the wonderful people who work on this amazing product. Uh, we are all very grateful for everything that you do.